What's up, YouTube? This is Courtney Truman Steamers Carpet Cleaning. Uh, today is March the 8th. I'm over here on my second of six jobs today. Again, I'm not doing six. My buddy Taylor's is doing a few for me. I'm over here on my second one, guys. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick tip of the day when it comes to rugs, how I do rugs. Um, when I do rug, guys, I give the customers two options. I either do where I can clean it at the house um, or I can roll it up and take it with me. If I clean it at the house, guys, which I would prefer to do, to be honest, unless it has a lot of urine in it, uh, I do it a dollar a square feet. I just got through doing these three rugs. Probably took me less than 30 minutes, um, 160 bucks. And uh, this guy right here was a referral from one of my high-end customers. But if I roll the rug up with me, guys, and take it with me, I'm um, looking at $3 to $3.50 a square feet. Um, then I just clean up my house. So show me, show you guys what I did today. Mr. Jeff, I'm doing a YouTube video. How did these rugs come out? <laughs> they done good. Okay. They're real good. Proud of them. Thank you. <laughs> I said I told you to use a high-end uh, referral. <laughs> Miss Karan. Really yes, sir. All right, guys. So those three rugs right there are clean. Now the main thing, why guys, when you do rugs. Is, um, the first thing you want to do is first uh, read the backing of the rug. Every rug should have a label, and that way you should know what kind of uh, fabric fabric you're dealing with. Remember, guys, all rugs cannot be steam clean or either um, washed with a lot of water. Um, there are ways to do it. You could bonnet clean it, uh, dry clean it. But these three rugs I were able I was able to do with my machine. Uh, so that's the first thing, guys, is always inspect and see what you're cleaning. The second thing, guys, every time I do a rug, guys, I always vacuum. Rugs tend to hold a lot of dry soil. And the more dry soil you get out of that rug, the better cleaning results you're going to get. So always remember to uh, pre-vacuum those rugs and do a slow pre-vacuum too. Don't go real fast, guys. Give the vacuum enough time to get all that dry soil out. Okay, the third is your pre-spray. One of the best pre-sprays you can use for aerial rugs without damaging the rugs is a upholstery pre-spray that has a self-neutralizer in it. So that way, uh, when it comes in contact with the rug, it will drop itself back down to a n normal pH level and I still rinse it. And then once that, guys, I'll rake it in, let it sit for about five, 10 minutes, steam clean the strap, and they also deodorize customers always happy with it never had any complaints and again guys remember rugs should be a high-end service don't be going in telling people you clean their rugs for 25 30 dollars because cleaning a rug is totally different from cleaning a wall-to-wall uh, -wall carpet so again guys charge for area rug cleaning again this three rugs right here guys 160 bucks took me less than 30 minutes so um go ahead and uh Log this job out. Go get me some lunch, and I got two more. Oh, just hit my leg. It's been a good day today. So, um, so my buddy Telly just got through doing this one for me for 179. Show you guys my schedule for today. So, um, I did. Uh, he did that one for me this morning. I just did this one in Snailville. He did that one for me in Lawrenceville. Uh, she, this lady right here, guys, she found someone online yesterday. Carpet cleaners didn't show up, so I had to fit her in today. So that's why I got six on the books for today. Uh, this is the one that I'm at now in Beaufort. He's a referral. Go ahead and finish that job, get the payment. And then after this, guys, I got uh, got two more. And uh, 165 and 109. And uh, tomorrow, next week's looking good. So, yeah, guys, so again rugs charge form uh good money to make guys but also remember uh do your research talk to other cleaners um if you guys want to email me call me don't hesitate but again guys read the back end of the rugs so make sure you so you won't damage your customers rugs because if you do you're talking about sometimes guys these rugs can be into the thousands of dollars and you don't want to go in and mess someone rug up and then you're responsible for it and now you got to replace it or either end up in court so again guys uh courtney truman steamers tip of the day uh beautiful day today um thanks for watching thanks for subscribing uh liking my videos i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video